guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm really glad you stopped by. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all of that. Love all you guys. Anyway, today I'm here to do a big happy planner plan with me for the week of July 13th through 19th. It is in my new big mosaics planner, which is super neutral. Look at this. No lines. It's just very, very thin black lines, which is like perfect for me. So I love it. So this week I thought I would use some of these giant Mambi sticks because I have used them in my currently page, but I never did use them in a spread. So since I have the big happy planner, I have lots of room to play around and lots of room to put big stickers on. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to be using some flowers because you know I'm all about that. And I thought I'd use like peachy pink flowers since they go with this. This is the girl I'm going to be using, I think. And I thought it kind of go to, goes together. So thought I would do that. Um, but th those are really the only ideas I have and some boxes. So let's get started and then we'll figure it out as, as we go along. Um, I think, so I was thinking about this. Usually if I have like a big sticker, I'm going to put it here. I don't know why. I just gravitate toward putting it here. However, I'm all about doing out of the box things. So I thought since I'm always putting it here, I'm going to put it somewhere else. So I thought I would move it up to here. I know that's not <laughs> moving it very much, but um, so I thought it would kind of fit like right here. Like she's just sitting in a little cafe right in the middle of my page and... I thought it made sense to like put washi on this line so that she's like, so that's like the ground. Do you know what I mean? So we need to pick out some washi tape and I'm just going to use some thin washi, nothing fancy. I mean, it's all fancy, but, and probably, so I'm definitely going to be using like this blue color in here and the green and peach. So I think like kind of this situation Although maybe not this color, but more of like a dark green, even though with Happy Planner, it's really hard to find dark green stickers, but I'm going to do my best. So I think what I'm going to do, since there's this big dark green here and there's this little bit of blue, I think I'm going to take blue washi and like match it to her shoes. So right away, this stands out to me. It's just a plain blue tape. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Either that one or this one. Um, let me try this thicker one. It's still not thick washi, but it's like a, a skinny medium. And, and let's see how that goes. Um, I may not put it all the way across the page. I may just put it on this side. Let's start on this side and see how it goes. Ooh, that is so bright, but I love it. Don't you like that? I think it's really cute. I don't think I've ever used this washi tape. So when I cut washi, I always use an X-Acto. I just press down and lift up. Super easy to get like an exact line. That one's a little messed up, but not bad. And then on this side, I'll just take it and cut it across like that. Some people use credit cards to hold it down. I find that the credit cards um, don't get like an exact like sharp line. They get like a fuzzy line. I don't like that. So that's why I don't use a credit card. So let's put this down. I know this is going to take up a ton of space on my page, but I can always put boxes over it. And also um, I have a big happy planner so I can use extra space and still have room for my other stuff. It's hard sometimes to put down these stickers because they're so big, but let's try it. Should I put her shoes over there and put the table there? I guess so, but you might not see her shoes really well. If I put it there though, it doesn't make sense because we want to make it look like it's the ground, right? I think we're just going to do this. Oh my gosh, so cute, isn't it? I love it. Okay, so that's the major design element in my page. And I definitely don't want to like overload it with other stuff. But I do 
want to decorate a lot because I'm a decorator. You know I'm a little bit extra when it comes to stickers. I'm going to leave this out because I might use this perhaps on this line, probably on that line, but I'm going to wait a minute and see what else I've got going on here. So, um, like I said, I want to use flowers and I was thinking about these ones. I know I've used these quite a bit, but I think they're so pretty. Um, or these. And I'm not sure which. Uh, I mean, these are pretty because I don't think I've ever, ever used those, but um, let me see. So let me just look at the color here. So this is like the peach color that's in that cup. That matches really well. I think I'm gonna use these even though I should use something I haven't used before, but I'm gonna use these. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a big flower. So if you've watched my channel before, you probably can predict where I'm gonna put this sticker. Go ahead and guess. You're right, I'm gonna put it down here. I think you're right. I'm gonna put it down here in the corner because I have a big sticker over here. So we wanna balance it out with a, a big sticker over there. Now we're just going to trim it down. It's not this week yet. I've been planning like way in advance. Today is, let's see, um, June 29th, right? Isn't that good that I've been planning this for in advance? I never have done this before. This is very new to me, but um, I'm trying to just get ahead of myself so that when I go on vacation and stuff, I can take the week off without worrying about anything. And that's kind of my goal because in the past I've like s stressed about going on vacation and like, oh no, I got to get everything done, but I don't want to do that anymore. So I thought about using this on top of the flower. What do you guys think? Well, no matter what you think, I'm gonna do it because I don't, I can't hear you. You got this. Ooh, I don't know if I like it. I'm not positive I like that. Let's check out the other Mandy sticks and see if there's something I would like better. I feel like the, if this was green, if this was that green, I would like it, but it's like a teal, which isn't thrilling me. How about, yes, girl, wait. Good vibes. This is my happy place. That's kind of cute. I know it's big, it's maybe too big. I don't know. Or maybe that's what I don't like, that this isn't big enough. Well, let's take this one off and try something else. Hopefully this will, oh boy, uh-oh. Again, Happy Planner has changed its paper. I can tell the difference. Um, it's not as easy to peel stickers up. It's not, it's still okay and you can still do it, but I find that it's a little bit trickier than it was before. And I can use undo, but I kind of don't want to do it over here because um, it's on, it's a sticker on top of a sticker. So if I take the one sticker off, I am going to have to take the other sticker off and I don't want to do that right now. Okay, that was a little bit tough. So it did wrinkle my paper a little bit. Can you see that? That's annoying, but I'm gonna put a sticker down. So maybe you won't notice it. There'll be something on top of it. These stickers are a little thicker than regular stickers. So that might also have come into play as well when I was peeling that up. These are like, they're made for not just your planner, but for like other stuff, you can put them on anything. I'm thinking about putting one on my um, Hudson cart that I just got, which would be kind of cool. 
but I don't know. All right, so do I want Yes Girl or do I want that other huge one? This is my happy place. I don't know. Like, I like this. It's going to take up like a lot of Monday, though. I can use a guide or wax paper, but I think that that's too much with the flowers. I would have to cut the flowers off. Maybe if I cut the flowers off, I kind of like that too. This is one I need alive so I can decide. I wish this was green. Again, like this is the same color as this, so that's not thrilling me because it's not balancing the color. So I'm gonna do something super bold. I'm gonna take that giant sticker. I know there's a lot of you guys right now who are kind of telling me not to do that. I'm gonna save these flowers because, you know, I can use them again. Uh-oh, this is an issue. I might've ruined that sticker. Um, yeah, so I know that some of you are probably not happy with this decision. But as I've said before, you know, I'm going to say it's my planner and I can do what I want. And I appreciate that some of you might not agree with me, but it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, it's, it's basically, it's creativity. So my creativity is going to be different than your creativity and your creativity. You know, I might not agree with what you put down on a page and that's okay because it's all about like creativity is all about what like makes you like tick, you know what I mean? Like what makes you happy? Um, because if you're not liking it, what's the point? Like don't, like don't um, do things in your planner that you think are gonna please other people because you know, why are you trying to please other people in your planner? Like this is something you look at and you um, plan in and, and it's, it's yours. So the purpose is to make yourself happy in your planner. And that makes me happy, even though it's really in my face. I kind of like it. Okay. Rant over, not a rant. That was just a little advice for you. I think I'm gonna take this, like I said, and put it across here because I feel like I need to balance out that really bright color blue over there. So let's do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a different X-Acto because that one's kinda, I need a new blade on that and I still haven't done it yet. That one was not a very exact, was it? No, but that one is. It can't all be exact. I like this. Um, how it feels in my hand, this Fiskars one, and it cuts really well and everything. There's nothing wrong with it, except that when I go to put the cap back on, um, it's like a puzzle. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, ah, oh, I have to turn it just right. And which sometimes I know that sounds stupid, but sometimes that's a little difficult when I'm like trying to do it in a hurry. Okay, so far so good. So since there's a lot of decoration on this page, we're not going to like put a ton of little stickers on here, I don't think. But Let's continue and maybe put a couple more flowers down. I'm not sure. Maybe just one other one. Is this the other one? I guess so. Um, we need to balance out the flower by putting another flower on somewhere. And, and my instinct is to go up here, but I know that that's kind of dumb. So it needs to be on this page. So maybe I could put it there, but then it's either there, right? Maybe here or here. I don't think here because there's already one on this side. So it feels too balanced to me. So either here or here. I think I'm going to go up here. 
I'm not sure why. I know it's going to cover, I'm just going to put it up here like this. It's going to cover that 16. And it's going to cover Thursday. It's sort of bugging me that it's covering Thursday. I know it's Thursday though. Um, I think it's just the look of it where one number is covered and no other numbers are covered. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it and let it sit with me for a little while and see how I feel. Sometimes like things that bug me in the beginning, um, it, it totally changes. <clears throat> and at the end of the spread, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's okay. You know, it doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out these little things. I could use a punch, but like I find with, if you only have like one or two, it's kind of just easier to go in and cut them out with scissors. Um, plus like, I don't always love cutting stickers with the punch cause it gets kind of gummed up, even though, even if you use paper with it, sometimes it gets like a little bit tricky. Okay. All right. So now what the heck are we doing? First coffee. Need a little more caffeine to, to clear my head. And okay, so I had this idea. I, can, I, I really wanted to incorporate some of this green into the spread, but there's no green boxes like that because like I said, this color green is really, really hard to find in Happy Planner stickers. Oh, and by the way, I apologize for my like messed up. Well, this one, this hand's not bad. Look at this. This is my, my self tanner fail. Isn't that great? You, you know, because when you, I don't know if you guys use self tanner, but it's really hard to do your hands. And usually my hands end up being white because I just wash my hands like completely because I can't, I'm afraid that it's going to do this. But this time I was like, no, I'm not going to do that because my hands always look ridiculous compared to my arms. Because let's face it, I don't get outside a whole lot during the week anyway. Um, so I need to self tan. Otherwise, I'm like a ghost. I'm like translucent. I'm very, very pale person. So anyway, that was a fail, but it'll fade. Okay, so back to this. I had so, I had this idea and I'll show you. Okay, so see this? So if you need a color box and you don't have a color box and you want a color of a box, it pretty much, if you don't have something, make it. Like if you're trying, if you're like, wow, I wish Happy Planner would carry this. I wish they'd do this. I wish they'd do that. Just try to think, okay, is there a way I can make this? Because there, there usually is. Now I could make this on my printer um, and I have made colorful boxes, but it's a little bit tricky. I'm still learning the Cricut and everything. So I just took this Arteza Everblend art marker, which is an alcohol-based marker. I've used these before and I cut, you can use any marker though. I just use this because I know that this is like going to be dark and the right color. So I started out just kind of freehanding it on this side and then I decided I needed to use a ruler. So you'll see probably that these ones are sharper. So let's peel this off and see how it looks. So now I have a green box, right? So, and, and this was just like a light green. So I turned it into a dark green box. So that makes me happy. So I'm gonna make a few of these, I think. Um, let's see, I should figure out where to put boxes and what to do here. So I'm gonna need some lines as well. I don't need lines on every day. I could probably get away with, like I'm not gonna be covering anything here. So I could probably get away with no lines on Monday unless I put this here and put lines up there. Let's do that. Then I, I won't have any decoration on Monday, but I'm okay with that. So, whoa, uh-oh. Ah! Stop. Okay. Whew. So let's just put this down. Do I want to cut the washi underneath? Maybe. And I do that when the washi is like dark. Well, this, this is really sharp compared to my other one. Gotta be careful I don't cut through the paper. When the washi is really dark, I do that so that you don't see it underneath. And it looks like it goes underneath, but you don't see it. So it's a win-win. All right, look. <laughs> Get in there. Arr! Okay, obviously when I was a little baby, I probably wasn't good at that shape game, <laughs> that, that 
that shape toy probably with all the little holes i don't know maybe i was okay so i'm gonna take and i'm gonna make another green box let me see and i can turn any color green but i thought i would use like these light green ones because i probably won't be using that very often and it and it's so light that it'll like show up good okay so i'm just gonna now fast forward and make some of these boxes i'm not gonna make you sit through watching me do that but um you'll see my process Okay, so do you see how I kind of balanced out the boxes? Like there's two big boxes, there's two smaller boxes, and I kind of spread them throughout the page so that it looked sort of even, but not like too even, if that makes sense. So I think what I'm gonna do now is probably take a couple, do I want bright blue boxes? Probably peach boxes. Like there's a lot of bright blue on here. So let's look, and I know there's peach boxes. So let's get a couple of those. Let's add this one somewhere. Although now I'm looking at it, like I made these lines really thick on these boxes and now these are not as thick. I made them too thick, didn't I? Um, yeah, I did. So there's that. Will this look weird with it? It might. What to do, what to do. Let me think, what about, you know that Colorful Boxes 2 book, the one, this one that's like solid boxes. Why don't we look here and see if we can find some stuff. Like this one's really pretty. Just because I do wanna put boxes on every day. This is the day we leave for vacation, um, but this isn't a vacation spread. I'm doing like the next week cause we'll be away all that week in the Outer Banks. I'm doing that for that, but I could like, well, I don't wanna put this there, but. I'm gonna like leave this space or this space, probably this one for marking that down. Could use a couple of smaller ones here. I could use this. And of course I would put something over this notch so that it doesn't look weird. Um, let's try this, okay. Crooked, Mary Ellen. What is your problem? That's better. Use this one somewhere. I'm gonna put gratitude up here in case you're wondering where that's gonna go. I don't know if I wanna cover any of that. I typically put a box on every day that I'm just like thinking. So I need a box here, here. I have them there, but I might wanna put another one on Tuesday as well. Um, I don't know. I'm also trying to think where lines are gonna go. So there's that too. I'm trying to keep all this in mind while I'm doing this. Um, like I wanna make sure there's a box on every day, but I also wanna make sure it looks pretty before the pen, so it's like tricky. I could overlap that and make that a Saturday box. Um, I mean a Friday box. Let's try that. Okay. I'm running out of peach boxes though here. There's this one, it's like darker. I could use it though, let's try it. Well, let's see what else is here first. There's this one. It's like I tried to use this one before. <laughs> now I just got the backing there. Pull this up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just cut the, that sticker off the one that was like stuck to it. I think I'm gonna have to cut this white part off the top. Okay. 
can use that somewhere else actually in the spread maybe. Just trying to balance it. I think this one's a little too dark, although it does match that flower pretty well. Honestly, if I just put this here, it would balance everything out, but I don't know. I could put this here and this here. Let's do that. I can always put a list on there. Looks like there's something, the back, like the sticky stuff came off. So let's just add a little bit of sticky there. Ah, stickers flying everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is coming off here too. I think I, need, I might need another one of these glue pens soon. It's also difficult to do things with stickers on your hands. Okay, um, let's add this on Monday at the top. I know I wanted to put lists there, but I don't have to. Let's see if I put lists here and here, here, here and here. Okay. And I don't know what this is for yet. Like I said, it's June. I'm planning this on June 29th, so I don't necessarily have a plan for these boxes, but what I do is put a box on every day, at least one box on every day. And then there's always space um, for anything that comes up. I think I just cut that wrong. Just get that little guy off. Oh my goodness, it's not working. Good enough, okay. So, what else am I needing here? Um, This one's kind of coming up too. So I need to put something on the corner there because that looks weird. So let's go back to those Mambi sticks. And do you remember, like, I cut something off. It's the flowers. We could put flowers there. We could put a blue flower there. that look weird? Let's try it. It looks cute, but it's like the only flower on the page besides these. So maybe I want to take a peach flower that's left. Look at this. It did not stick down well and put that somewhere just to balance out the flowers. I know, I know, I'm crazy. I'm a little bit, um, you know, perfectionist, but also just, I get really crazed about balance. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you like just have to put up with me. I know you can see through that, but I I'm really okay with that. It's not a big deal. I don't love it, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so up here, let's white out notes. I know this like blue is so bold, but I kind of like that. I kind of like it. It's different, right? It's not, I've never used that color, I don't think. So it's very different. All right. Um, so what are we going to put over there? I think, so I need space for gratitude. I could use it for like a list. I'm trying to think, should I do gratitude or a list of things? I really think functionally, I am going to need a list for packing. Like I do have my packing lists, but like I need a list of like either for packing, like things that I just don't want to forget, like weird things or for um, the things I have to do before I leave, like, you know, those things before you go on vacation, like prepare for the pets and like take out the garbage and, and you know, all that kind of stuff that 
is like last minute stuff. I think that, I really do think I need a box for that. So let's find one. Um, I don't want to use green because I already have that. I'm thinking like a long peach box, which I don't really have any of. I want a, I want a sticker book of just long boxes. Anybody else want that? That would be awesome. Like this size, you know what I mean? I know there's other books that have long box stickers, but well, what about the squad goals? Let's look at the squad, the new squad goals sticker book and just see, maybe there's just something to match, who knows? I also have the accessory pack. Maybe there's something in there. I mean, the accessory book. Oh, cute. These, I, should, I could put a couple of those down. They're so cute. How about, let's do that. Sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> I should put that, I should put these on there. Oh, wait a minute. What if I put like little coffee mugs? That'd be better than flowers? Let me try that. That's cute because there's like coffee over there. I don't know. It's not really the right color, but it's cute, right? Let's take this off. Only because the flowers are not matching these flowers. These are like very decorative, like fancy flowers. And these are like cartoon flowers so I don't know it's still cute but I thought maybe this might be cuter I don't know if it's cuter actually all right let's hold up let's just go back to what we were doing which is looking for a long box sticker they have these long ones in here let's see maybe there's one cross your fingers this one I don't necessarily want the bicycle girl on there though I could make it smaller but like there's that down there and it's like covering that part wish they wouldn't do that let's get out the accessory book and see what's what sorry if this video is kind of long I'm not going to feel like editing it down so I might just leave everything in it I might just leave it totally unedited and let you guys just deal with it. I don't know if you're even still watching. Who knows? All right, doesn't look like this has long box stickers. So I think we're out of luck there, but maybe I just use a smaller box sticker. Hmm. Let's go back here again. I could use one of these one that we pulled off before I know that it's like got the skinny lines but it's kind of okay because it's not in the spread I guess maybe I want two boxes let's put this one here move it up a little that there um I need something for up there Okay, remember how I just said to you, I just went on that rant where I was like, if you don't have something and you need it, make it. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. Why didn't I think of this? Okay. So I'm going to make a long box sticker over here. And basically, it's really easy once I have this one down. I'm just going to cut the top off here. And then just place this one down on top of it, really. Well, I have to cut this part off too. Boom, look at this. Why did I not think of that before? And I wanna leave a little space at the top because I'm gonna put a header up there. So I stand by that, that if you don't have it, think about making it. Think outside the box because that's when you're gonna like be the most functional and that's when you're gonna be the most
proud of your creation. This is a little like off-white compared to this. Did you notice that? Oh well. So let me grab a, oh yeah, a header. And I was looking in the squad um, goals, the new one, and I thought I'd use a blue. So don't forget. Um, I'm just gonna put it across like that. It's kind of cuter, I think, than putting it on top sometimes. Okay, let's let's look at it and make sure we're done. I think for now I'm gonna leave the mugs there. Um, I might switch it up when I put it on Instagram, I don't know. But I think it's really cute. I really like it. It's big and bold and fun. And there's plenty of room to write still, right? So I, I think it's a win-win. I'm glad that I did it. So I hope you guys like it too. If so, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I really appreciate all of you so much. Um, also check out my Patreon if you have not already. You guys, I was sitting down and editing this video and I realized I I talked so much about putting lines in and then I forgot to put the lines in. I didn't even realize that until I was actually editing the video and looking at it and thinking, wait a minute, I forgot something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some lines in. And I just thought I'd show you guys this so that you felt better because I had a feeling if I didn't show this to you, you'd be like wondering and leaving me comments and everything saying, what the happened? Why didn't you use lines? So, and you probably want to see, whoops, <clears throat> I just made that super crooked. You probably want to see what it looks like with the lines too. I mean, maybe you don't care, but maybe you do. So. I stopped editing and I'm jumping on here and I'm giving you lines because that's what I do even though it's a little bit more work for me because I gotta then stick this into the video blah 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 anyway I'm just gonna talk through this with you guys instead of fast forwarding this part you don't usually, I usually fast forward it when I do these lines, but I'm doing something different this time. I know this is kind of a long video, I think. It's probably 35 minutes or so once I get it all done. I'm just using a Pentel Energel 0.5, which is what I usually do when I draw lines. I might start doing it with the Muji. 0.38 to see what it would look like um, that way um, with like the skinnier pen. I don't know if I want to put it on Sunday, even though like balance wise, it would look really good if I put lines here. However, um, I'm on vacation that day. So I'm not going to be like doing any to-do lists or anything. So I'm gonna do the smart thing and leave that open. Um, I like it better now. See, magic, the lines are magic, you guys. I can't say this enough, like for me anyway, it just makes it look so much nicer before the pen. Don't you think? Anyway, um, that's it, see ya.